Good morning guys, Teacher A here and welcome to Gurong Pinoy sa Amerika. So for today, isang 5th grader na member ng ating community ang nagpapatulong kung paano daw ba magsagot ng word problems involving fractions. So meron tayo ditong dalawang word problems, sasagutan natin siya isa-isa at uh, sasagutan natin siya step by step. Okay? So let's start with number 1. Crizel spent one half of an hour doing her homework. She spent two-thirds of it doing English. How much time did she spend doing her English homework? Okay, so step by step tayo. So first step, isusulat natin yung what is asked. Ibig sabihin, ano daw ba yung tinatanong sa problem? So since masyadong malaki yung board ko, ia-underline ko na lang kung ano ba yung tinatanong sa problem. So, kung ano yung mismong question, literally, iyon yung uh, isasagot nyo sa what is asked. Nakalagay dito, how much time did she spend doing her English homework? So, iyon na yun. Okay? So, next step, isusulat daw natin yung mga given. So, kapag sinabing given, iyon yung mga important numbers na gagamitin natin para masagot kung ano yung tinatanong. So, ang gagawin ko is, ibabox ko na lang yung mga important numbers. Okay? So, one half of an hour. Hindi lang siya basta one half. One half of an hour. Okay? And then, two-thirds of it, which is two-thirds ng one half. Okay? So, yun yung mga given natin. Di yata masyadong kita. There. So, one half of an hour, ulitin ko lang, and then, two-thirds of one half. Kasi nakalagay dito, two-thirds of it. Kapag sinabing it, yun yung one half of an hour. Okay? So, next, plan. Which means, ano ba yung equation natin? So, yun, isusulat ko na siya. So, para masagot yung tinatanong, let N be the time she spent. So, gagamitin ko si N para i-represent yung nawawala. Yung time she spent in doing her English homework. There. Okay? So, i-represent ko lang yung nawawala using letter N. So, paano ko hahanapin si N? So, N is equal to, sabi dito, one half of an hour doing her homework. And then, she spent two-thirds of it. So, kapag sinabing two-thirds of it, that means two-thirds of one half of an hour. So, that is two-thirds of one half. So, kapag sinabing of, that means the operation involved is multiplication. So, N is equal to 2 over 3 times 1 half. So, yun yan. Okay? Mas simple lang. Next, multiply natin. Before tayo mag-multiply, meron ako nakikita ang common number sa taas at sa baba na pwede i-cancel out. So, si 2 sa taas, at saka si 2 sa baba, pwede natin i-cancel out kasi pareho sila. Divide by 2, that will give us 1. So, 1 na matitira rito, 1 din dito. Okay? So, therefore, n is equal to 1 times 1 is 1 over 3 times 1 is 3. So, 1 third of an hour. Okay? So, therefore, ito yung hinahanap natin. Now, kung, kung tinatanong sa inyo yung mismong saktong oras, kapag sinabing one-third of an hour, ang isang oras ay ilang minuto? So, 60. So, one-third of 60 minutes. So, again, kapag sinabing of, that means multiply One-third times 60, whole number, understood to be over 1. Now, solving this one, pwedeng i-cancel si 60 tsaka si 3. Divided by 3. 
So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then 60 divided by 3 is 20. So, 1 times 20 is 20. Over 1 times 1 is 1. Divide. That will give us 20. Therefore, ang end natin is 20 minutes. Okay? Which is one third of an hour. So this is the time she spent in doing her English homework. Okay? Ganun lang kasimple. Let's move on with question number two. So number two, Martha has five and seven eighths meter of cloth. She needs one and one sixth meter of it to make one prop. How many props can she make out of the cloth? So again, first step, what is asked? Ano ba yung tinatanong sa problem? So, Aya, underline ko na lang siya. So, katulad na sinabi ko, kung ano yung mismong question sa problem, iyon yun. Kasi sa Tagalog, what is asked? Ano ba yung tinatanong? So, eto yung tanong. Ilang props ba daw yung magagawa niya dito sa 5 and 7 eighths meter ng cloth? Next, what are the given? So, ano-ano ba yung mga given dito? So, 5 and 7 eighths. 8 meter, which is yung total. And then, 1 and 1 sixth meters sa isang prop. Okay? One prop. There. So, yun yung mga given natin. And then, uh, what is the plan? What is the equation to be used? Para masolve yung problem. So, here, ang tinatanong ay how many props. So, therefore, si N natin, yung number of props. Okay? Number of props. So, paano natin isosolve si N? So, N equals, ang tinatanong kasi dito, ilang 1 and 1 6 meters ba meron sa 5 and 7 eighths? So, in this, in this case, i-divide natin siya. So, 5 and 7 over 8 divided by 1 and 1 6. Okay? So, in dividing mixed numbers, ang first step is, i-change natin sa improper yung mga mixed numbers by multiplying yung whole number sa denominator and then i-add yung numerator. So, we have here 8 times 5, I have 40, plus 7 is 47, then copy the denominator, which is 8, divided by, itong kabila naman, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7, then copy in ulit yung denominator na 6. And then, in dividing, next step is, copy yung first na fraction natin, 47 over 8. Then, instead of dividing, it change natin siya. Yung operation, magiging multiplication. And then, get the reciprocal of yung second fraction. Which means, if you flip natin siya, 7 over 6, magiging 6 over 7. And then, multiply na natin. So, in this case, meron tayong pwedeng ma-cancel out. Si 8 at saka si 6. Pwede silang i-cancel. Bakit? Kasi both can be divided by 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now, i-multiply na natin. N is equal to 47 times 3, 21, carry 2, 12 plus 2 is 14. So, 141. Over 7 times 4 is 28. Now, since mas malaki yung nasa taas, i-simplify natin by dividing. 141 divided by 28 is 5 and 1 over 28. So, therefore, makakagawa ay bakit ma meters? How many props? So, that means this is props, hindi meters. There. So, therefore, makakagawa ng 5 and 1 over 28 props out of 5 and 7 eighths meter of cloth. Okay? So, ito yung ating final answer. There you go.
So, may pahabol na question doon, which is about reciprocal. So, kapag sinabing reciprocal, if we flip nyo lang yung given. Yung nasa taas, mapupunta sa baba. Yung nasa baba, mapupunta sa taas. So, example, tulad nito, 7 over 6. Ang reciprocal niya ay, pagbalik na rin lang, 6 over 7. Paano pag whole number? Halimbawa, 3. Ang 3 ay whole number understood to be over 1. So, pag kinuha yung reciprocal nito, babalik na rin, magiging 1 third. Okay? Ganun lang siya, kasimple. So, that's it. Kung nakatulong ang aking video sa inyong lasan, kindly give me a like para i-share to ni YouTube sa iba. And please, if you are not yet a member of my community, I am inviting you to please subscribe kay Teacher A, Guru Pinay sa America, and also please like my FB page, same name, Guru Pinay sa America by Teacher A. Okay? So, that's it for today. See you in my next video. Paalam!